the success of this trip depends on Simon. <laughs> Jesus gave her healing and joy, but he hasn't given that to me. What is stirring in your hearts in the middle of such division and unrest is Father God being revealed to you. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Well, here we are again. I am so full of joy that me and Lada are actually sitting down and talking again. I'm going to be honest. Uh, the first time we met, we were, we were talking a little bit before we got started. It was back in the fall uh, before the start of season three. And it was very hard, I'm sure, for you and your other castmates to do those interviews at the time. Because yeah. there were so many spoilers and there was things yeah. that... I felt like we couldn't talk <laughs> about the details. It just had to kind of tiptoe around <laughs> I could get us all excited for what's to come well and what I loved about you was your heart and I could tell um just from the the moment that we started visiting of where your heart was and how excited I think you were uh for people to see the storyline but I could also tell how emotional you were and I could tell there was something heavy going on well, now that we're into season three obviously and we see that I see it now and I see the weight of this storyline uh, that you had to carry here in season three and are still carrying. How are you taking this all in? Because some of the stories that I've I've seen of the feedback of um, women relating, you know, to all the different mixed emotions oh. of uh, going through what you went through, um, it's really resonating with a lot, a lot of people. Yeah, it has been such a gift um, to be able to to hear women's stories and to get people talking about something that I think is rarely talked about outside of like your close family and friends to really publicly come out and, and share your struggles and, you know, your, your questions as far as like your faith and why, why this is happening to me and how could God allow such, you know, trauma and, and, and just these experiences that are so unique to women for instance like the miscarriage and that was so much I was I was carrying so much weight so much just anxiety as well and nervousness to like I couldn't believe that I was I mean that, that the writers believed in me that they were that they wrote this in um because wow like it's real life you know and that's so rare when to see in a lot of faith-based projects um the struggles and how uh how we can still see the good um come out of these of these um situations and and how god can still be trusted and it's just so many so many things so many emotions come up um for me and just how grateful I am uh, to the women that were brave, that that were willing to share their stories, my family and friends that had gone through a miscarriage that I then had to go back and, and ask, you know, to really kind of see how they felt and, and, and what happened after the fact, you know, and how, how long they still were just carrying this weight and all of that to help me understand that, you know, it is something that a lot of people don't really touch on and they don't want to dwell on it. They don't, they're kind of, you know, tiptoe around the situation because they don't want to, um, you know, upset anyone. And it's just, I think that the more we are able to tell these stories and become aware of real life struggles and what people go through, I think that it makes us better human beings to each other um, and to really listen and sit down and listen and and care for others and you know it's not just about us with with, um, with these stories so yeah uh I don't know I don't where am I winding here <laughs> <laughs> no I just love it and again I love your heart because I can tell you just mean so much of it do we, and again this is probably another spoiler I don't know how much you can say for when we see this uh finale in the theater but is there going to be a come to Jesus 
moment kind of like little James. I mean, that's what we're hoping. That's what everyone I think personally wants when you battle these right. difficult situations, you know, you want to feel that word from Jesus and hear from him that, you know, it's going to be okay. Right. Like where we get the, that moment. Right. Like, where is the, we are hoping for that resolution of like, okay, we need some answers here. And, and, you know, they're struggling and their marriage is struggling with Eden and Simon's marriage. And so where is Jesus in all of this? And I think that the reason that it's going to be in theaters is because it's an experience you'll want to see on the big screen to, to really see, you know, and it may not be, the way that people might expect, you know, will there be a resolution right then and there? I don't know. We have more seasons to come as well. So it may not be completely resolved. And, you know, Eden, um, you know, we'll see, does she, does she have that, that spiritual resolution within her? I think she's really seeking it. Um, and so like all of us and, um, yeah, we, we see in the finale that, um, you know, the thousands that are following Jesus, like they're beginning to get restless, I think with the audience as well, <laughs> the audience <laughs> restless, we're restless, what, you know, where is, uh, where is the comfort here, but that is what the theme of season three is. And, um, you know, so come, come to all of you who are weary and heavy burden. And it's just, uh, I will give you rest, but it's, it's not, a, we have to seek God. It's not always him that's coming to us. We have to go and find him and seek him and his comfort and rest. So um, we will see, does Eden do that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Amen. Like when you look back at everything right now, there's still more to come, obviously oh. several other seasons, but what are you just kind of most proud of and, and excited for people to, there's still so many people that need to watch this show. I know, I know. honestly, personally from, from Eden's storyline, we see from season one, just how incredibly from, from the, you know, from the start, she's full of faith. And then she's, she's, um, you know, trusting in, in, in Jesus from the get-go and then she challenges Simon to you know find his faith and then when he does and decides he's going to follow the Messiah I mean she's you know just so excited and so proud and and uh, supportive of him and, and the ministry and that's when the enemy can get in I think it's right. also a great example of that exactly yeah so and then when we from that to, to now season three and where Eden is I mean it's she's left with with wondering well I believe since day one and I was I'm I've always been full of faith and so why is it that God feels so far away why why am I struggling why is he healing and you know have all of these miracles are are happening around her she's literally watching it before her eyes and she's suffering in silence yeah. still with no Which again, we all we all relate to so well I've battled infertility I didn't I didn't do the the miscarriage part of it uh, but there's so you know it's similarities because I think as, as women we long um you know for certain things um and again it's exactly. just such a beautiful picture of of the roller coaster of emotions you know when your heart just can't catch up with what you know you know is right in your mind Exactly. Uh, well, we need to make sure, tell people to go out, pack these theaters. Where are you going to be watching, by the way? I am in Atlanta. So um, I actually I have my tickets. I'm going to go and surprise some of our fans. Hopefully, if they recognize me, I don't know. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I'm excited because now we, we've we actually extended the dates. Um, it's it's going to be Thursday through Monday now. Um, we've added more theaters as well. And and I think if you go on fathomevents.com, you can see, you know, the local theaters in your area that are showing uh, the, the finale. And um, I think it's an experience that, you know, people will want to see on the big screen. So, well, I'm going to let you go so we can go and do all of this. And then so yes. we can let you get back to work on season four. Can you help hurry that along, please? Thank you so much. Yes, we need the <laughs> prayers and, and and everything will just um, you know, everything in God's hands. So yeah. Amen. You you have my prayers again. Thank you so much for sitting down and chatting with me again. It's a true pleasure. Thank you, Carly. It was awesome. Appreciate it. God bless. Hope to talk to you again soon. Me too. Thank you. We're out of food. They're out of food. Can you bring me anything? Five loaves of bread and two fish. This feels familiar. Let's eat! Yeah! <laughs>